This video reviews the steps to install the camera main unit and two imagers, taking into consideration mounting and aiming options. Before installation, we recommend reviewing the installation guide for important safety information and precautions when working on this equipment. The installation guide is located on the Pelco website. The modular camera provides maximum flexibility to combine different imager modules, mounting options, and cable configurations to suit various installation scenarios. Up to two imager modules can be connected to the main unit. Either of the two camera imagers can be connected to the main unit for maximum versatility and optimal installations. For this scenario, we will be configuring the main unit with a micro bullet imager and a right angle imager. To begin, ensure that the required tools and materials are readily available. Have a small, slotted screwdriver ready for connecting power when not using power over ethernet. Use a Phillips screwdriver to attach the camera to a mounting surface. Have a drill ready for drilling mounting holes into a surface. For this particular setup, ensure you have one main unit, one micro bullet imager, one right angle imager, and two HD BNC cables. However, for additional configuration options, see the installation guide. Ensure the package contains the Cerex modular camera main unit, a template sticker, an optional DIN rail mount, a power terminal block, a solid wall anchor kit, and four mounting screws. The micro bullet imager package contains the micro bullet imager, the optional L-shaped bracket with mounting screws, one double-sided mounting adhesive strip, a side mounting screw, and a lens securing trim ring. Next, ensure the right angle imager package contains the right angle imager, the optional flat bracket, one double-sided mounting adhesive strip, and two mounting screws. Note that different screws may be required depending on the desired mounting surface. These screws are not included in the package. Note that the BNC cables should not be folded, twisted, or crimped to ensure optimal video transmission quality. Let's begin with installing the main unit. The main unit can be mounted on a flat surface, table, wall, or DIN rail. For the scope of this video, the main unit will be mounted to the wall. Refer to the installation guide for the other mounting options. Mounting the unit to a wall is ideal for keeping the unit and its cables out of the way. First, adjust the mounting feet position to the orientation shown here. Remove the four highlighted screws. Next, rotate the mounting feet 180 degrees. Then, connect the mounting feet to the unit using the four screws. Next, use the mounting template to drill four pilot holes into the mounting surface. Note that the cables come from one of the two ends of the mounting template, as shown here. Discard the mounting template. Next, hammer the four supplied plastic anchors into the drilled holes. Align the unit with the mounting slots. Use the provided tapping screws to secure the unit to the surface. In the next segment, connecting cables is reviewed. Connect a network cable to the unit's ethernet port. The link LED indicator turns on once a network link has been established. Connect a BNC cable for the number of imager models being installed. Up to two imagers may be connected to each main unit. If external input or output devices are part of the installation, for example, door contacts or relays, connect the devices to the I.O. connector block. Next, connect power by either PoE or external power. If PoE is available, the LEDs will turn on. See the video on this topic for more information. That completes the steps for installing the main unit. The steps for installing the micro bullet imager are reviewed in the next segment. Note that the micro bullet imager may be installed in various configurations depending on its environment. Consult with the installation guide to determine which mount configuration best suits the environment. If the imager needs to be installed onto a flat surface, use the supplied L bracket adapter. The position of the collar, shown here, may be adjusted to suit the installation environment. To change the position of the collar on the L bracket, unscrew the highlighted thumb screw. Pull the collar and thumb screw off of the L bracket. Determine which hole is to be mounted and reinsert the thumb screw into the collar. Tighten the thumb screw to hold the collar in place. 
Next, mount the L-bracket. Note that the L-bracket may be mounted with mounting screws or the mounting adhesive strip. Pull the collar and thumb screw off of the L-bracket. To mount with screws, drill two pilot holes into the mounting surface. Use the mounting slot shown here as a guide for the holes. Align the mounting slots to the pilot holes and use the provided tapping screws to secure the L-bracket to the mounting surface. Reinsert the thumb screw into the collar. Tighten the thumb screw to hold the collar in place. To mount with the adhesive strip, first peel the protective layer off of each side, as shown here, and discard. Next, place the adhesive strip onto the mounting surface. Align with the L-bracket and press firmly down onto the adhesive for at least five seconds. Once the L-bracket is mounted, insert the micro bullet imager into the mounting collar. For the purpose of this video, the L-bracket will be mounted with adhesive tape. Ensure the mounting screw hole on the imager is positioned on top as shown here. Twist the micro bullet forward or backward to change the aim up or down. Tighten the thumb screw to secure the position of the micro bullet imager. Next, connect the BNC cable from the main unit. Note that the IP66 rated end of the BNC cable is connected to the micro bullet to ensure the imager maintains protection from dust and water. For more information, see the installation guide. That completes the installation steps of the micro bullet imager. The steps for installing the right angle imager with the flat bracket are reviewed in the next segment. Mounting the right angle imager through the surface allows for a more discreet installation. To keep cables out of reach, mount the right angle imager with the flat bracket through a hole in a wall or other mounting surface. With this mount option, only part of the lens will be visible on the recorded side of the mounting surface. Refer to the installation guide for more mounting options. Note that the flat bracket can be mounted with mounting screws or the mounting adhesive strip. Begin by drilling a hole through the mounting surface. The flat bracket or adhesive strip may be used as a guide. Ensure the mounting surface thickness does not exceed more than two millimeters. Thicker surfaces may cause occlusions on the video image. First, let us review the installation steps involving the mounting screws. Using the mounting bracket as a guide, drill two pilot holes into the mounting surface for the mounting screws. Align the lens and mounting holes on the mounting bracket as shown here. Secure the bracket in place with the screws. To tap the right angle imager into the bracket, gently push the imager inwards until the bracket mounting clips click into place. Connect the BNC cable from the main unit. Next, we will review the installation steps involving the adhesive strip. Peel the protective layer from each side of the adhesive strip and discard. Place the adhesive strip onto the mounting surface. Ensure it's aligned with the drill holes as shown here. Align the mounting bracket with the adhesive strip. Press the bracket firmly onto the adhesive for at least five seconds. Next, snap the right angle imager into the bracket by gently pushing the imager inwards until the bracket mounting clips click into place. Then, connect the BNC cable from the main unit to the imager. This completes the installation steps for the right angle imager. If the device no longer functions as expected, it can be reset to its factory default settings. Use the firmware revert button shown here to reset the device. First, ensure the device is powered on. Use a paper clip or similar tool and gently press and hold the firmware revert button. Release the button after three seconds. Inserting the tool too far may damage the camera. Do not apply excessive force. This completes the steps to get started with the H5A modular camera. Ensure you are familiar with the exterior features of the camera's main unit and imagers to expedite the installation. Follow the listed mounting and aiming recommendations to maximize the camera's analytics capabilities during the installation. During the installation steps, mount the lens before connecting power.